everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Hope everything's going your way today. Today, I'm coming with a chill, laid back video. Yes. Today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using my latest Sephora purchases. Yes. It's all about Sephora today. So, if you want to just hang out with me while I use the latest purchases I got from Sephora, just keep okay, on watching. everybody, let's get started. Man. Okay, guys, so yeah. Uh, first of all, guys, I just want you to know it is 2 early 30 in the morning. Your girl Lily's brain is still half asleep. But yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, it is the Sabbath. So your girl Lily has to get ready for church. And I figured, why not just sit down with you guys, my peeps, and play with my latest of four purchases while I do so. So, yeah. So, while I will not be really reviewing um, anything today, guys, I won't even be really touching on the products that much. Um, if I like the items, I'll let you know. And if I don't, I'll let you know that too. So, let's get started. Okay, guys. So, yeah. I've already done my brows off camera because, yeah, for a while. Your girl Lily's running a little late. And for two, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, I just use my, um, if I can find it, guys, where is it at? Okay, I just use my Anastasia brow pen in dark brown. Because, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, we're going to church. I, I want to be a little modest with the brow today, if I can. Um, but about these eyes, though. So for the eyes today, I'm going to be using... <laughs> I bought a lot recently haul and got half price at Sephora. I'm going to be using the Huda and Power Palette. And guys, I mean, the color story says it all. Okay, the color story says it all. I, I, this is a very nice, church-appropriate palette. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, let's figure out what uh, shades I'm going to be using today. It's going to be a very simple look, guys, because, um, yeah, when I go to church, it, it, it it, it, it's very simple, very dainty, guys. So, um, let's see. Let, 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 let's look at this palette right quick, okay? Let, let's look at this palette for a couple seconds. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can just uh, pull a touche look out of this one because um, that's pretty much what I'm going for today. Hmm. Hmm. So, for the mask, I'm thinking I'm probably going to... Put this shade here, which is called Legacy. I'm probably going to put that in my crease. I'll more than um, likely blend it out with Get It. Or I'll blend it out with Keep Going. But, um, yeah, the shimmers, I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck, guys. I don't know if I want to go for a gold vibe or a silvery vibe. But let's just see. So, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, guys, all oh, these shimmers look nice, right? Yeah, them shimmers look really nice. So, that's a nice little shimmer to wear to church. Guys, I feel like I need to bring you guys a little bit closer because this is lighting, child. So, yeah, I feel like, oh, that, that's a nice little shade. But these goals are calling my name, too, guys. Let, let me just watch a couple more. Okay, what's this manifested? Okay. That's one of those cream shades. Mm. No, 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 no. And then we have one more that I'd probably be interested in. That shade right there. Mm. No, 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 no. So I feel like I know what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, I feel like I, I know what I'm going to do. This shade right here is Charisma. So I'm probably going to put Charisma on most of my lid. And then I'll probably use Ball Moves. As my inner corner highlight. So, basically, I'm going in with... Oh, gosh. So, basically, I'm going to go in with... Oh, my God. Is it limitless? Gosh. That's limitless. That's charisma. Nope. Okay. So, charisma's going to go on my full lid. Like, most of my lid, and then I'm probably going to use this as an inner corner pop because there's nowhere else to go. So, there we go. So, just so we recap, guys. We're going in with Legacy in the crease. Blended it out. We get it. We're going to put Charisma on most of the lid. 
that's not covered by a mat. And then we just gonna do ball moves in the inner corner. That's what we gonna do today, guys. That's what we gonna do today. And of course, I'm just going in with my um, Fenty Concealer in the shade 310. And I'm gonna be using that as my eye base today. Guys, your girl Lily is struggling this morning. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry your pretty little heads, okay? I have got um <laughs> me a nice venti um ice matcha, strawberry puree, oat milk, easy ice from Starbucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and honey, I got me a banana nut loaf uh slice, okay, to to to, to get me through this. So all right, now let's start, all right? No, let me take something to drink first. Then we'll start, guys. There. So let me find my... Ooh, Ooh your girl is struggling today. <laughs> But God is good anyhow. So how you guys, my peas, been doing, okay? Are you guys out there staying safe, okay? Are you guys doing anything fun uh, for the summertime? Because, honey, this is a hot summer we are having, is it not? I feel like I haven't really been out in it as much as I probably should be. I mean, for me lately, guys, I mean, it's been working, filming, vlogging. I mean, every now and then, guys, I go out. Every now and again, honey. But I feel like today's the day I'm going to go to church. Um... I am going to be probably uh, stepping into a Marshalls, okay, and a TJ Maxx because I have not I have not been to one of those in quite some time, guys. Quite some time, and yeah, I mean, I feel like I might even because I'm vlogging today, guys, and I'm sorry I'm trying to adjust this so that it's not gonna be too overexposed. But I can't do much about the lighting today, guys, because I'm in a hurry. But I feel like I might even want to, you know, do a solo date. I feel like that's something in my um process of vlogging and, and filming. I, I don't do any solo dates. I mean, so I might do something like that because I am vlogging today too, guys. So, all right. I mean, this is nice. All right. Th this is a nice, neutral hood of shade. But I mean... It works just fine. Okay, guys, because I don't want my inner uh, crease to be too profound, too deep, I'm going to bring in one more shade, okay? I'm going to um, use this shade right here. Um, Keep going. I'm going to put that, like, in the inner space of my crease where there is no shadow. And, of course, you know, I always use my um, Japanese 726 brush to do the outer, the outer V. And um, for the inner, I'm just going to be using my um, Sephora shadow brush, okay? This is from a set. And guys, when I say I want to run my mouth with you guys today, I really do. But I'm really bad at multitasking, but I'm going to do it as best as I can. So, um, guys, have you all been watching any new series? What's good? Okay, I have started a new series. And guys, it is the bomb.com. It is called Suits. Have you heard of that? I believe it was on air from, I want to say 2011 to 2019, something like that. But I'm just not knowing about it, guys. And it's really good. Um, It is about this dude. So this guy, his name is Mike. He knows law. He knows law really good. But guess what? Mm -mm. <laughs> he didn't graduate from law school. He didn't take the bar, none of that. And I feel like it all started with, like, him with his friend that he went to college with. I think, I don't know, were they selling weed or uh, were they, they were using for sure. But I think they it was some selling going on too. 
and I don't know if he got involved in it, something like that. But anyway, he ended up in this law office. And uh, while he was in this law office, he was running from the bad guys. And then running from the bad guys, he stepped into this um this office that was interviewing for uh, lawyers or interns or whatever have you. And so when he ran into the office, the... Uh, the name partner who was doing the interviewing, you know, he was he, he was like, okay, so you interested in the job? And he was pretending like he was. No, long story short, uh, the main partner did know that uh, Mike didn't pass the bar, none of that. And he knew that he was not a real lawyer, but he still took a chance on him and hired him. <laughs> so basically, this dude, Mike, is like around helping with all these cases. And he is not even a lawyer, guys. He, 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 can't, he can't practice the law. Okay, so it's really good. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give away too much, but guys, what I say, it is a it is a good series. It is a really good series. I'm currently on season five, and I just started watching only about about a couple weeks ago. So I have managed to binge watch that in between working and filming and everything else I've been doing in my life, child. Definitely, if you like anything to do with law. And twists and turns and stuff like that. You you will love this series. And now I'm just blending out the two shades I laid with um get it. And guys, let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> Woo, you guys probably already know this, but I need to show you this. Okay. This palette does have quite a bit of fallout, guys. You see all that? That is fallout. I just dipped into this shade, and it, it did that with just a couple dips. But I'm hoping that means it's pigmented, so then it means it won't take that long to build, which means it won't take that long for me to do this look. Oh, yeah, but that's a pretty shade, too, by the way, guys. It blends out these shades rather nicely. So, yeah, that, that's what I've been watching. Now, there is a, mo a movie on Netflix that um I'm interested in. I don't even know the name of it, though. But um, Gabrielle Union, she's in it. I, I don't even know what it's about, but I'm interested in watching it. So I'll probably be able to talk about it more in depth in my next video. Because <laughs> your girl literally not doing much talking today. But yeah, this is really a nice palette. Mm-hmm. And guys, it's going to feel really good. Honestly. Honestly, it's going to feel real good for me to go to church today because... I have not been to church in a few months, guys. I haven't, but, you know. I do watch, like, the, the internet streams and things like that. And, yes, I mean, whether I go to church or not, honey, I get I get my little tags directly deposited out of my, um, out of my, uh, out of my pay. So, honey, if I'm not going to church, I'm definitely paying my tithes. So, Yeah. Yeah, this is a cute shade, guys. This is a cute shade, but the fallout is so real, guys. It is so real. It's beyond real. And speaking of church and praising the tag, guys, let me give you an update on my phone. Okay, so I know you know a couple videos ago, um, yeah, I, I, I had told you all my phone had like a bunch of prismatic colors and it wasn't working and things like that. And honey... When I say he answers prayers, child, he answers prayers because, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. So, I just was not determined. I was determined not to give up the ghost, guys. I was determined not to give it up. I was like, uh-uh. This is a, a No 20 Ultra. Samsung has never let me down. There has got to be something else. I, I, I really, it's got to be something else. Because, honey, when I say I have manhandled this phone quite a bit, I've manhandled it quite a bit. I, I, I probably dropped it more than a newborn baby child. But, and it, it never, it never did me wrong. So something just told me, you know, maybe it's just a little glitchy. Maybe it's glitchy from when you cleaned off the camera with a <laughs> glass cleaner and you probably wasn't supposed to. So, child, what I ended up doing, and I didn't do it till the next day because I was distraught. I restarted my phone. And child, why would I restarted my phone? Okay, the camera was working good as new. Matter of fact, guys, I record using my uh my my camera right now. My phone, my phone right now. Okay. 
and have done it for the past few videos. So I did need to give you guys an update on that, okay? Yeah, guys, okay. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this so far, guys. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Okay, guys, now I'm just going to be blending, doing a little bit of blending so I don't have any harsh lines. And, guys, last time I spoke with you guys, my peeps, I believe I was talking about uh, doing the new uh, method, a, a method I learned on TikTok for my uh, wings, okay? Uh, the new deep fried method of uh, when you... Do all your little seasoning and then your little mustard and your little uh flouring, dipping in water before you put it in the um uh, before you put it in the hot grease. Child. Yeah, I went on ahead, went on the wing and a prayer, honey, and I tried it. Guys, that method is the bomb.com. When I say them wings turned out fire, guys, those wings turned out fire. Those wings were crispy, and I actually did like a couple ones. I did a buffalo, I, I did a buffalo style one, and I also did uh regular like uh a honey barbecue or something like that, guys. It was do it, they were delicious and they were crispy. And believe it or not, guys, when I dipped it in the um when I dipped it in the water, the, the wings in the water. And put it in the grease. Guys, it didn't even pop. But, of course, I let that water drain off so good. Okay. But, yeah. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. -mm. That, that, that's a good method. That, that's a good method. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I mean, I know <laughs> that that method is unsafe. Okay. What? The, the, the method is super unsafe. <laughs> and I remember one of our little peep squad was like, Oh no, Lily. I uh uh I went to I went to culinary school. No, why did high grease don't mix? Don't do it, don't do it. Child, by the time I read that comment, I had already done it. But I'm glad it worked out. And um, yeah, Cecily, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your concern, honey. And yeah, I I, I yeah. <laughs> I'm what they call a a, a non-compliant patient. I went on ahead and tried it and it worked out just bad. But I don't know. And I did buy a deep fryer, guys. But guess what? That sucker is still in the box. So I'm going to tell you like this. If I have not used that deep fryer by day 59, because it doesn't do want my hair like a 60 day return policy, something like that, have a long day return policy. If I have not used it by the time it's about to be expiring for me to um get my money back. Child, I will be taking it back because I have not used it yet. I don't know what's keeping me from using it. I don't know if I'm intimidated or what, but mm -mm. yeah. Now, I'm just using this brush to diffuse uh the edges. This is a Morphe no-name brush that I'm using. Came out of a set, I'm sure. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, guys, I like how this is turning out so far. So now we're going to work on this lid, though. I'm just going in with my Glam God Beauty. Diamond. Primer. Before I lay down this shimmer. Guys, charisma, it does not pick up that much on the brush. But we're going to do what we can, honey. Let's see if I can get anything on my lid. Okay, guys. It's, kind of, it, 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 it's, it's showing to be a little difficult. But, okay, guys. Once. Okay. This worked out just fine. It's cute. Once the um glitter primer ended up a little bit on my brush, yeah, it picked up quite well. So, I would say this shade most definitely is going to work best with a glitter glue. But, guys. The payoff is amazing. And 
I'm just taking a little bit of that get it shade and trying to merge it in with the gold a little bit. Charisma. Okay, guys, that is officially it for the eyes. So I'm about to just go ahead and pop on my lashes off camera. Yeah. We'll be back to finish up this face, though. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes off camera. Yeah. These are just some little Amazon specials, honey. I've been wearing these for like the last few videos. Not these particular ones, um, but the particular style because your girl Lily been going through them and disregard that uh, because <laughs> I cut one incorrectly at one point. So yeah, um, these are the kind they are, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh -huh. Now that we got this part done about this complexion, though. Guys, I don't have a new um, primer or anything like that. So, I'm just going to be going in with my um, Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I use mine in the shade 10. Yes, guys. I love this stuff. And um, while I do not use this as a foundation, I usually use this as a primer because your girl really like some kind of coverage. Um, especially when I'm going to the church house. Um, Yeah. I, I, I find that this works just fine. And a lot of people, I don't know, do people apply this with a brush? I'm not sure. But, guys, I apply my wet my fingers, okay? So, yeah. I just like to blend it in because I find that this warms up the product rather nicely. Yeah. And, yes, guys, it definitely gives a glow to the skin. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. You can most definitely... Uh, just wear this as like your foundation for the day if you just want like a totally no makeup makeup type look but I find that when I use it my redness still peeks through a little bit and yeah uh uh we can't have that not today guys not today but yes other than that guys uh huh yeah I love everything about this filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now your girl Lily's face is nice and glowy on the foundation. The foundation today, I've been down to use this, guys. And I have not used it as of yet. Um, I'm going in with my Gucci. Is it going to tell me in um, English what this is? Um, Eternite Day Beauté. Okay. 24-hour wear breathable foundation that's what it is guys okay and i've got mine in the shade 310 n guys i don't know if this is my shade because <laughs> when i use a shade match on sephora it gave me about 30 different kind that might work out for me so let's just hope this one works out let's see guys let's see okay guys um it might be a little yellow, but let's just see right quick. Uh-oh, guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, guys. This looks a little warm. I mean, but I feel like, honestly, guys, yes. This is going to work out just fine because I feel like any other shade would not have worked for me at all. So I feel like this is the closest I'm going to get to my shade. But yeah, I mean, I like the finish though. Okay, guys, yes, I do like this finish on my face. Even though it's not like a totally full coverage foundation, I wouldn't say that. It's more like a medium buildable. I still feel like this works out just fine. And yeah, this is totally a nice shade for me. Oh yeah, I mean, it is still a little warm, guys, because you can definitely tell. But, I mean, you guys. Once I put on my concealer, 
and my powders and everything like that, this will be just fine. So yeah, so far guys, so good. So far, so good. Yes, guys, this is most definitely not what I would consider a matte. This is most definitely like a luminous type of coverage. Yeah, but not too luminous. Okay, guys, yes, this is most definitely not a flat matte type of foundation. It does have a little glow to it. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Now, on a concealer. Um, guys, I'm going to be using my um Naked, my Stay Naked Quickie. Multi-use concealer. It gives you up to 25 as well by uh, Urban Decay. Now, guys, I've used this concealer before, and I absolutely love it. Um, the brush, I have not used. I probably never will. And, yeah, it seems like a lot of product in here, too, guys, but, you know. Yes, it has that nice doe foot applicator. So, yeah, uh -huh, I'm just going to apply this. Under my eye, because I'm not going to do a whole lot going to church, guys. I I'm just not, okay? <laughs> We're going to do the little triangle or little fake me out triangle. We're just going to go under the eye. Okay, guys, and um, yeah, while I just let this sit for a minute, I'm just going to enjoy my matcha. Mm. Okay, guys, now I'm ready to just blend it out right quick. Guys, do you see that coverage? That coverage is nice. And lately, guys, I have been taking the Access um, Concealer, and I have been patting it out all over my nose because, guys, for some reason, it does not matter the foundation. It just has a problem sticking to my nose, guys. It does. So I just put concealer all across the bridge of my nose because... At the end of the day, guys, we are going to be carving it out with bronzer anyway. Okay, guys, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, guys, and for powder today, I'm going in with this one size seven powder. Mm -hmm. This one is in the shade Ultra Pink. Guys, now, <laughs> I have never used a pink powder in my life, guys, so this is going to be real interesting. Why I decided to try it for the first time when I'm going to church is beyond me. But, guys, at the end of the day, God said, come as you are. So, uh-huh, yeah, there's that. Guys, it's super duper pink. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap. Okay, guys, and here's what it looks like. It's pretty pink, guys. It is pretty pink. That is ultra pink. I think this is supposedly even pinker than Hooders, okay? So, yeah, what? Let's go ahead and see what it do, what it do, what it do. Because your girl Lily has procrastinated quite enough. And I'm not using my um my, my wedge today, guys. Uh, I'm just going to use a plain old sponge. Okay, guys. Now, I do see a little bit of the pink, but it's not overwhelmingly pink like I thought it would be. Okay, but I do see a little bit of pinkness. It is brightening me up somewhat, guys. Yes, it, it is. It I do see the pink now, okay? <laughs> Correction, guys. Yeah, it, I see the pink. It is pink as I'll get out, but I don't mind it, guys, okay? Because, I mean, if it says it's going to brighten me up, that's what I need, guys, today. I need to be brightened up. And I already have the um translucent one-size powder, and I absolutely love it, okay? Or is it translucent? Is it medium? I don't know what shade it is I have, but I know I love it. And guys, this is no different. Look, it blurred out my pores rather nicely. Now, you're going to see a little bit of creasing, guys, because that's just the nature of the beast when you are like half a century old. But guys, so far, I can honestly say I love this powder. So far, guys, so far. And then I'm just taking what's left on my sponge, guys, and what's left in the cap. And I'm just going to just put it around my face just a little bit just to help with the sticky spots. Blur the rest of my pores on my face. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. So far, guys, I do like this powder. I like it a lot. Okay, guys. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with a powder that I just got delivered by Sephora yesterday. Um, it's the Artist Couture. I'm going in with the Artist Couture. Um, what is it? Multi-use beauty powder. Okay. And this one is in the shade Honey Suede. Now, guys, 
Now, this is half price on the website, okay? This is half price on the Sephora website. Um, a lot of his stuff is half price, the palettes and everything, guys. But this is what this shade looks like. I feel like it's very close to NC42, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be a nice shade for me, guys. Let's hope, guys. Let's hope. And I'm just going to be using my Sephora Featherweight Powder Brush. So go in here and get me a little bit of powder. And I'm just going to set my face with it. Oh, guys. I mean, that's a pretty okay shade for me, right? Oh, yes, guys. This shade works just fine. And, guys, I feel like this does not feel heavy or anything. No, guys, it does not. Uh-uh. Oh. Guys, mm. do you see the finish? Okay, well, ignore that, because what is that? Okay, what is that, Lily? Is that a pimple? No, what is that? What is that? A glitter? I don't know, guys. Okay. Oh, guys, look at this. Okay, this is pretty nice. Okay, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm not going to do too much, because I'm just going to church, child. I'm not going to do too much, but yeah. That's noise. Okay, guys. Yes, yes. This is definitely a nice shade for me. Yeah, guys. I'm really enjoying this powder so far. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Now, on a bronzer. For bronzer today, I'm going in with my Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Natural Chocolate Bronzer. And this is in the shade Caramel Cocoa. Now, guys, I mean, I, I, I am familiar with uh, Too Faced bronzers. I absolutely love them. Um, for some reason, though, I decluttered, like, my dark chocolate soleil. So, I bought this to um, make up for it. So, let's just hope it works out. And um, where is my fan brush, guys? And let's just hope this works out, guys. Hmm. Guys, it's doing a little something, guys. It's doing a little something. Okay, yes, I mean, <laughs> it's doing a little bit of bronzing, guys. It's giving me a little definition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a nice, modest bronze. Yeah, it, it, it's good. Okay, it, it, it's all right, you know. One thing is about Too Faced, guys. I mean, Too Faced is not going to go super deep, okay? When they tell you something is caramel, you can, like, charge it to medium. If they tell you something is deep, you know, you can charge it to medium deep, maybe, if you're lucky. No, scratch that. Anytime they say anything is deep, yeah, yeah, pretty much charge it to medium and medium deep all the time, guys. Because I don't know... That they have any bronzes that go much deeper than this. I, I want to say they don't, guys. I, I, I do want to say they don't. But I could be wrong, okay? I could be wrong. <laughs> and guys, I'm not defining my nose at all by any means. I'm just going to take a little bronzer. And I'm just going to sweep it on the sides of my nose, okay? And what happens, happens, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing's for sure and two things for certain, guys. This is most definitely a quite natural, no makeup, makeup day bronze. All right, guys. I mean, that's about as much as we're going to get out of this bronze or so. It's all right. It's cool. Now on a blush. For blush today, I'm going in with one of my new Dior Rosy Glow blushes. And I'm going to be using the shade Rosewood today. Guys, now, um, I don't know if my haul video's up before this. It might be, but I did haul um, this in my um, haul video. I actually got four of the shades. Four of the four of their six shades. There are two shades I didn't get because one is like a berry shade, and then one was like a very deep, 
shade that looked like it was muddy on people my skin tone so i was like mm -mm, i'm not gonna even i'm not gonna even try that but yeah mm -hmm. I, i'm really excited to try this world's one though so going in with one of my morphe angle brushes i do use this for um blush it came from one of their sets i'm just gonna go in right quick oh gosh look at that shade Let me come up a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, guys, yes. Now, this gives you a nice flushed look. Yeah, it makes me look nice and flushed. This is like, yeah. And it builds up rather nicely too, guys. But I will say this, okay. Uh, this looks like this would definitely work for my fair to medium beauties maybe medium deep guys maybe medium deep i would say for my deeper beauties definitely the cherry and then there's a berry shade that i that i didn't get that i feel like would go with uh my deeper it, it would fare so well my deeper skin tone beauties and i don't know guys i might even get that shade but one shade I'm definitely not gonna get. Oh, I'm not getting that deep brown one. The, the, it, it just, it's just too deep. I can't see what I would do with it. I mean, the completionist in me would like to, but I just know I'll be wasting my time, guys. I'll be wasting my time. But yeah, guys. Oh, this is nice. I feel like I could keep on putting this on all day, but I don't have all day. So yeah, we 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 need to just stop it here. <laughs> but guys, look. And as much as I like to use blush. And as over as much as I overdo it, guys, this is a fail. This is like a, a what you call it, fail proof, uh, goof proof uh, type of um, blush. Because guys, I mean, I've been applying for eons, and it still looks great. Okay, it looks great. And look at the blend, guys. Look at the blend. Yes. So yes, uh huh. It's official, guys. Mm hmm. This Dior blush for sure is winner winner. Chicken Dana. Now on a highlight. Guys, I don't have a new highlight to report. So yeah, uh, no more to say here. No more to see here. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Okay. I think I got this maybe, was it a couple of seasons ago? Did it, was it a holiday release? It might not even been a holiday release. It was just a release, guys. And um, yeah, it's just a nice, subtle type of um highlight. Very perfect for modest makeup look. So we're just going to take a little bit, put on our nose, okay? I'm going to put it on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and the tip of my nose. And yeah, I mean, okay, maybe just a little bit of my high points, okay, guys? Just a little bit, okay? Just a little, okay, yeah. That's good right there, okay? <laughs> That's where we're stopping. Because one thing about it, guys, I could do this all day. <laughs> I could do this all day. All day, guys. All day. Guys, I don't have a lip liner from Sephora that I recently purchased, but I do have a recent purchase. I'm going to be going in with my um Clarity Lux lip liner and Coffee Bean. I have this as well. Um, And I'm just going to use this to line my lips today right quick. Okay, guys, I do quite enjoy this liner. This is a this is almost like my lips, but better type of liner. Yes, guys, yes, yes. Yeah, I like this lip liner. This lip liner is nice. When Clarity has another sale, you best believe your girl is going to stock up. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more of these guys. Now, for my regular lip color today, though, I did just um receive a couple lippies in the mail from Sephora, even though I didn't need any more lips, but they were on sale. Um, these are from Artist Couture as well. These are not new by any means, guys. Um, I've got two shades here of the Artist Couture lipsticks. I've got Power Play and I've got Saucy Gal. And I just want to see which one will go better with this liner because I just am not sure. So... This is Saucy Gal. 
that's a nice little peachy shade. So I know that will work for it. And then let's see what Power Play looks like. Power Play is a nice little, looks like a nice little cool tone moment right here. So let's just see that. Hmm, definitely Power Play. I think we're doing Power Play today. I mean, but Lily, you going to church. Hmm. And I'm still leaning toward power play. We 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 going with power play today. Okay, let's see. Oh yes, guys, that is the perfect nude for me. Okay, these are thirteen dollars. Like, yes, I paid thirteen dollars for this. Now, I. I mean, I have far too many lips, though, to be thinking about trying to get a backup of this, but... <laughs> I like that shade. That shade is nice. Okay, this is really a nice shade, guys. A nice shade, indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. These, th th these are some Kylie, Kim K lips, child. I love this shade. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. This Power Play lipstick is definitely winner, winner, chicken dinner, and I cannot wait to use Saucy Gal. But let's finish up these eyes, though. Guys, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to line the bottom of my eyes with just a basic liner, okay? We are not doing no blues, greens, nothing like that. We doing a basic brown, okay? Nice little brown, nice little black. If I can find it. Hopefully. Okay, guys. We're just going to do this little silver moment. This is one of my NK uh, auto liners that I got from the beauty supply store, child. We're going to use this to line my eyes real quick. Guys, I am legit keeping the lower lash line super simple. I'm taking Legacy with this little bitty pencil brush, and I'm just going right underneath my liner. And then I'm just dipping in to get it with the same exact brush, okay? And I'm just going to go right underneath Legacy. Just to wake it up ever so slightly, guys. Okay, guys, and then just going in with this shade bow moves here. I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. And lastly, guys, going in with my ABH Dewy Set Set Spray, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm about to let the set spray bless my makeup, and yeah, this renovation is over. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I like how this turned out. Yes, guys, so. Guys, I must admit, I love how my look turned out today. I look on point, lipstick popping, and man, look at that highlight. Guys, I'm not going to even hold you, because for one, your girl Lily's got to get to church. And for two, what's understood don't need to be explained. Guys, from the Gucci Foundation to the One Size Ultra Pink to the Artist Couture Powder to his lipsticks, even, even, okay, <laughs> as basic as this Empower Palette is, as much as we have seen this a million times before uh, by Huda, okay, even this palette, guys, killing the game. Now, I do want to give you a little tip, guys. When you're using shades in this palette, such as Charisma here, okay? This shade right here. Guys, I find that you definitely do not want to use that shade dry. And I'm going to tell you why. Because 
I use my glitter primer. And even with the glitter primer, guys, I do have little uh, ultra fine glitter, you know, still falling on my face, which I don't much mind that, guys. That's just the nature of the beast when you're using, you know, shimmery shadows. But other than that, guys, I had no problems with the mattes. They blended seamlessly. Guys, I mean, once I wet my brush, I mean, the fall shade, it got even more fall. Even my inner corner pop, guys. Yeah, I'm happy with every single thing I use today. Every single thing I use, guys. I'm just really happy with this look. This base turned out really nice, guys. Really nice. So, mm -hmm. none of these products let me down when it matters the most, okay? So, yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. I mean, no more to say here. No more to see here. I'm happy with every single product I use. There are clearly no losers today. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I use some of my Sephora goodies. Oh yeah. I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps, every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater later, guys. It only gets greater later. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray.